And welcome back, this is Butler Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is King Antiwan. King Antiwan is ranked 8th in his Diamond Division with 679 points and 115 wins. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Northeast up against King, King Antiwan. I'm having a hard time saying that name, I'm sorry. He is the Red Zerg player in the Southeast. The map is Typhon Peaks. And oh my god, it's another Zerg player. I struggle against Zerg players, I really do. Mostly, mostly because they go for Zerglings, Banelings, and Mutalisks. The Zerling, the what? What do they call it? Mutaling bling. I've already forgotten. I'm sorry. I'm out of the the StarCraft II uh, scene for a while now, and I forgot all the terminology. But usually they go for that, which is the direct counter to the units that I typically go to, which would be the Marines and Marauders. You, what I need to be doing, I guess, is go for the mech units against the Zerg players because they seem to have a harder time against those. And what are we seeing here? A 10 hatch. Oh my gosh, that is such an aggressive build. I don't know why he did that on this map. It is a huge map, if I'm being honest. And uh, not one that I would recommend going for that on, but I do have my barracks just now on the way. And what does it look like I'm going for here? Oh, it's hard to say. Hard to say. It's a little early, because but really, I mean, that, that ten pull is so early that you really don't have any other choice but to be overly aggressive with it. It looks like I am actually going for a three rack um, based on the fact of uh, on the timing of that refinery based it looks like on the fact that I saw that he was down here in the close positions that is why I went for it. Even though, the, I mean, this over here, you know, the, the horizontal would have been just as close um, as long as he's not here over, you know, in, in the diagonal, way all the way over there, I feel comfortable going for a three racks on this map against a Zerg player because I do want to get that early aggression out. Ah, oh, two Zerglings pop out, and they're done just in time to take on my SCV. And here we go, a second hatchery. This is an all-in strategy, pretty much. What he's going for is as many Zerglings as he possibly can, as early on as he can. His queen just popped out now, and almost instantly injecting into the hatchery. We do have an extractor on the way. I assume that this is just going to be uh, so that he can get enough gas for the speed. The metabolic boost increases the movement speed of his zerglings. Where are those zerglings? They are way over here. Apparently he did not even know where I was yet. What's their movement speed now? It's 2.95. We'll see what it is once they get that speed going. Meanwhile, I do have my three racks on the way. I do have one marine out and a bunker because I saw how quickly those zerglings came out. I have no choice but to go on the defensive here and already he's moving towards my base with just two zerglings. That's all he has right now. Really he's going for drones, heavy on the drones, until he got enough for the metabolic boost. He does have enough. I don't know if he spotted it yet. He does have 100 gas. But he's short on minerals now. But no, he's going for a second extractor, so I don't know what strategy he's going for here. It is not one that I've seen before. But once again, I have been out of the scene for a while, and I know I've been out of the scene for a while because I'm starting to see a lot of new strategies that I haven't seen before. Such as a ton of investor play. Oh my god, so many investors. And it... it he didn't... No, one one Zergling died thanks to my bunker. One of you got him. Thank you, Marines. And I'm continuing to build the supply depots all the way around my base, especially right here in this general area because I don't want those mutas coming in. But he does have a roach warrant on the way as well as an evolution chamber. So it looks like he's going for a mass roach strategy here, which I don't think I've seen before. Uh, metabolic boost is on the way. Well, um... 
not like this. I've never seen actually I've never seen any build like this, no matter what the result is. He does have a second queen out once again, just going for inject larvas. Uh remember those do stack, so feel free to just spam it into any hatchery that you want. Roach Warren is complete. Three roaches are on the way. Um, little did I know at this point that if I attacked, it would have been game over. He only has four roaches on the way compared to all these units that I have right now. Oh, it would have been easy to win. But, you know, at the seven minute mark, I'm not necessarily thinking I need to attack right now. What I'm thinking right now is, holy crap, how do I get more stuff? So those four, those four are out. There's the f fifth, sixth, and seventh roach, and he's researching bur burrow almost immediately. So this is a strategy that I've definitely not seen before: mass burrowed roaches to start. I've seen mass burrowed roaches, but only at about the 20-minute mark, and usually they're kind of a side note. I've never seen it as a main strategy, not used against me at least. And he does have the glial reconstitution, which will increase their movement speed. Uh, right now it is at 2.25, plus of course the creep bonus. He does have a spore crawler on the way in case I do go for banshees, which would have been incredibly good against this build, but I simply did not realize that at the time. He only has the two queens. If I had come in with possibly four uh, banshees, it would have been it would have been over for him. It really would have. So I'm finally thinking maybe I should go for uh, an attack here. My stim pack did finish. Uh, the combat shield is finished as well. So I've got all the upgrades that I can out of the tech labs. And now I'm just starting the weapons level one. This is a great time to attack. And so was about three minutes ago. He does have a few zerglings out. Let's look at that. Their, their movement speed is up to 4.7. So you remember that 2.75 to... 4.7. That's not quite double, but it's up there. It's got to be about 75% increase. He does have an overseer on the way. It is a detector, and of course can launch that changeling and do the contaminate once he gets enough energy for it, and that contaminate will actually shut down my uh, facility for 30 seconds. That is a long time in StarCraft 2. I do have my weapons level one not even close but I'm still producing the marines and marauders going for my expansion here I will be the first one with an expansion and I moved in assuming that he had one and as soon as I don't see it there I'm kinda thinking to myself holy crap I'm gonna come in and there's gonna be infestors or there's gonna be um, or there's gonna be mutilists but they're not there it's simply zerglings and roaches and I don't know what to think he's gonna be able to clean this up with those roaches they are powerful they are not a joke unit by far but he only able to do it because he did have burrow if he didn't have burrow I would have won this even with burrow it looks like I still stand a chance until those zerglings pop out but as soon as they do that's pretty much it for me he survives with just two roaches if he didn't have that burrow though it would have been a completely different game he's just massing as many zerglings as he can right now he still has a ton of larva looking at that seven seven he has 14 larva he's that's a ton of, but I took out the Queens so I'm pretty happy with that I do have the expansion up and it looks like uh, my army is a little out of position to deal with that but luckily I can block off the ramp there and he is unable to move in and here he he missed micro just a bit, but he was able to save those zerglings at the last second. Once again, a little miss micro, mismanagement there, but he is able to take out two marines by the cost of two roaches. That is not what you want to do. And still no expansion for him. I don't know why right now. He's He is going for infestors along with the roaches. Once again, infestor play. Insane right now. I don't know why so many people go for it, but they do, and it's awesome, to be honest with you. And two contaminates, one on each of the orbital commands. He's trying to take away my economy, and it works because, really, I, I, I can't make any SEVs. 
That's the bottom line. Looking at the at the harvester count, though, I am so far ahead that I can afford to lose that time. And I'm trying to take out the overseer, but he is microing it like a champ, and he gets away from my marines, so I'm just forced to move them back into the rest of my army. Uh, not worth the effort trying to take out that overseer to get my army out of position. So I'm moving down here. I'm way, way behind on mineral management. But he is so low on his right now because he's still only on the one base. And now he looks like he's going for a tech switch. He started, of course, with um, just the, the zerglings and the, the roaches. Now he's got infestors and going for banelings as well. This is all on one base. He cannot afford to keep tech switching like this. And produce an army is just not possible on one base. So he's making as many zerglings... Er, yeah, making as many banelings as he can. It's called a cocoon. Uh, yeah. So he has them all in the cocoon. He does have a zergling just hanging out down here. I don't think he actually saw it because I don't think I actually ever saw it. Oh, he launched a changeling at me, so I took it out. That's what that sound was. Um, if you're going to make a changeling, uh, try to put it inside the base. Um, so that if I don't spot it, it goes out of my base instead of into my base. I, I never send a marine inside my base. That's just a little tip for all you Zerg players out there. But he is going in for an attack here. Once again, it's an all-in because he simply does not have enough to make an expansion. So he's not going for it. If this attack fails, he is screwed. But he does have the Infester, so he is going... For a fungal growth, he goes for two of them. Of course, these guys have a huge range on them, so it's hard, hard to take them out. Of course, they can burrow as well. So I scan, trying to finish them off, and he sends the last one in to die. I don't know why. Um, here I go back before I realize, oh, there were more uh, roaches there, and this is where I would have moved in for an attack and for the kill anyways. Uh, so there you have it. An interesting strategy. Did not work for him. I don't recommend it, but interesting nonetheless. I am able to beat Zerg. Yes, I am. Uh, so two base, um, or sorry, one base, but two hatcheries. Zerglings and roaches lean into infestors and banelings. Not something I, I can say that I've seen before, and not something that worked. So, you live, you learn, and then you watch my videos. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.